Before we jump into today's video, we do have a video sponsor, and that video sponsor is no other than the OG Ridge. Are you guys sick of that big old bulky leather wallet? I know I was, and that's exactly why I switched to Ridge wallets, because having this in your pocket 24-7, when you're in your car, when you're walking around, it doesn't feel good, honestly. Who's been there, who's ever taken their wallet out, set it somewhere, and then next thing you know, you're looking for your wallet. And that's exactly why I switched to Ridge wallets, and a lot of my friends here, Obviously not Jordan. You're gonna have your little pamphlet here. You can read through that if you want, but take a look at this Ridge wallet, guys. We have the forged carbon with the ember, and man, that looks freaking amazing. You know what's even better about it? This almost looks like ruby red. So Jordan. Oh, wow. So guys, be like Jordan. Switch to Ridge today. Link in the description. I see you made the switch there. Ruby red paint. Got the ruby in the wallet. Thank you so much, Ridge, for sponsoring today's video, DBP Squad. Go to the link in the description. Use the promo code DBP Squad to save on your next order, and I promise you, you'll never ever look back to that big bulky leather wallet again. Father's Day is coming. It's the perfect, perfect gift for your father. So jump on that link in the description. And again, thank you, Ridge, for sponsoring today's video. Well, we got Lucifer in there. Got Project Fox here, parts on the way. Blue 2 valve, getting dynoed this week. And we have a 747, pretty sick. yellow packs and charged mustang gt and um how long have you had this for uh it was four years in march four years in march what made you get a mustang i've always wanted one since i was little and it's kind of what i'm named after uh a shelby so okay makes sense i'm gonna get the closest that i will ever have to uh shelby is my name on the car i have really hadn't started doing anything to it for about two years so after i got it and a year ago this month, I had a the Paxton supercharger put on it. Good old intercooler right there. And do you know what blow-off valve you're running? Because I know a lot of people are going to be asking me because it legit is the loudest century blower I've ever heard on a car. Um, I can't remember right now. I would say it's either a tile 50 millimeter. I want to say this is the same color uh, Nico, that guy Marin, I think, when he had his Paxton 5.0. I think it's the same color. I could be wrong, it but is. it is the same color. Yeah, that okay. video that you did with Jordan's radio. What are these was, goons uh, doing? A few people that commented and asked if this was his old car, but it's not. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. That would be so funny if it went full circle and this was Miranda. I'll go and give you guys a little walk around real quick. Got a special wing. Got tinted tails there. Smooth out deck lid. Overall, really nice car. And I saw those Brembos with the little yellow detail up here too. Oh, did he? Teddy painted on I can never get enough of the Century Blowers on these Coyotes, especially with that blow-off setup, the long tubes. It just makes it sound so good. And I don't know, like, just driving next to her, you can hear it super loud. Her pulling in, you obviously heard it super loud. I personally don't know if that gets annoying. Um, what do you guys think? You think I it gets annoying? Get annoyed, no. no? Hell no. It's, it, it's probably one of those sounds that's just so like intoxicating and addicting it's like that. A supercharger wine. Like, you can never get yeah, but the supercharger wine only happens when you're in it. That's the thing. This not really. This happens not all really. the time. I'll let you drive it. I don't even know if I know how to drive a Mustang anymore these days. <laughs> Remember, if you break it, you gotta buy it. <laughs> Wait, so I, mine's currently bro broken, so does that I count mean, for the next person? Yeah, probably. <laughs> I guess I'm getting some therapy with this. I will say though, I do love, um, I love my VMP blower, 
but the people know I love the sounds that the centuries have. Which is why blue is not going anywhere. It took me a while to get used to it when I first had to put it in. Yeah. Oh shit, Derek unleash! I mean you trying to get the gap or what? Well obviously. That was oh, obviously my car? he wants it. So you said you wanted it? No. I said obviously so, you, so you, you do. You would gap this mine. In this. <laughs> <laughs> Words, English hard. English. Are you trying to get some smoke or what? Right now? Right here? Right now, right here. You go into that pole, I'll about a little over a month ago. You guys are probably can tell that Lucifer's been away for some time and we were filming with C7 Karma over here. And um, I know a ton of you have been on my case about having Lucifer back. And trust me, things like this take time. If you guys haven't seen the full unboxing, I highly suggest go watching that or this video is gonna kind of ruin what happened and how they look, but I'm gonna take a look at them for the people that did catch the unboxing. The nice DVP etched on the face there. Halo inside, completely blacked out, which is sick. With the headlights themselves, you can see completely blacked out and it's so sick because I can now get rid of, well I did get rid of the tint that were on the headlights. Um, I couldn't see anything at night at all with no windshield tint and now that I have 35% windshield tint, there was, that was not an option to drive at night with 15% with tint on these and 35 on the windshield. So in one of the recent videos, we went ahead and partnered with Dyna Performance and we did the whole carbon fiber overlay. And again, if you haven't checked out that video, there's gonna be a link right up in that corner. You can go check that out. But pretty much what it is, it eliminates all the brushed, polished, um, you know, interior pieces. And this is the last and final piece because we put a Dyna VIN touchscreen head unit inside the car and the stock um, Dyna Performance carbon fiber for the stock touchscreens do not fit.
Dodge on, mm -hmm. and then when you put your new one on, you can go from GT500 to new GT500. So we just got it installed, looks so much better. Really completes the interior. I'm a big fan of this. I know a lot of you didn't really mess with it. It just makes it so much more sophisticated. The carbon looks good, it's shiny, and it's honestly really good quality, but I think I'm gonna get the carbon that goes up here and this little accessory surrounding, and then we have the steering wheel coming. So I say we jump on into these headlights now. We're gonna start off by reinstalling these taillights real quick just to knock those out. I thought you were on nutrition, you fuck. You know what, you're such yeah, a Hey yo, that's my cheddar! Oh wait, I need the taillights. Probably. I think that's the smartest thing to do. You wanna grab that one? Yeah, yeah, if you would. In the third row. Or, I got the third one. Hey, Pete the merch fam. Right here. Let me see the back. Let me see the back. The back with the colors. Woo! We actually partnered with Gucci on this drop, so. <laughs> Is that not off already? Did oh, I put I it back on? Have to take it fully out, no, that's good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? <clears throat> That's like dropped. Cut the camera, dog. <laughs> 